What is going on with Maria? Today I'm going to be doing the third special. I did kind of change it up a bit because um, I was thinking that the second series I was going to do, which was a game that I didn't really know a lot of about yet, and I, I figured out that it was more of not a let's play type game. It was Spiral Knights. If any of you know that game, it's on Steam for free. Oh, and by the way, I am using the my new camera I got a few weeks ago. Um, the Canon Vixia HFR 400. I think it's a really good video camcorder, full 1080p HD, and the name I just said was the exact name of it, the full name. Canon Vixia, um, H, Canon Vixia HFR 400. So that's the whole thing. And got some cool features and stuff like that. Um, if I, if you want, I can do a review on it, but there are already a lot of re reviews on YouTube. I did a unboxing, um, of it. Uh, if you have, you didn't watch that, go ahead and watch it. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty cool thing. I, I, I really love this camera, by the way. So what I thought of doing for my third special, something even more special, if that makes sense, but it is going to be a Justin the Yorio behind the scenes. And I'm, I'm going to be doing a like behind the scenes of how I make my videos and like the steps I do when I make them. So basically, the first step of what I do when I make them is I have to like figure out which type of video I want to do. So like if I'm thinking, hmm, it hasn't been a long time since I've recorded a Let's Play, I should do that. And then I go ahead and do the other steps. Or maybe a tutorial, or maybe I, should, I also want to think of all the variety of how on my channel. And, um, and yeah, but b even before that, I need to get into like the passion of wanting to record. I need to get into that feeling of me actually wanting to record because if I just record at just a random time when I actually don't want to record then the, my recording will be bland. I actually have to want want to record and not be like too tired to do it also because that would be pretty so, bad. There's just going to be behind the scenes of just the audio and the video I'm going to be recording today is just a little um... I'm just going to be recreating my redstone tutorial and what I do and what the steps I do and how to, how I edit it I'm going to be showing there are going to be a few parts of this video me doing the recording and then editing and uploading and all that cool stuff but I actually I won't actually upload it to YouTube I'll just show you guys like until it goes up to like 50% or when I'm done doing everything and then I'll cancel it because I don't really need to upload a, a video like that so enough of me blabbing on and let's get straight to the video guys so before we actually record the actual behind the scenes recording I, I would just note that instead of the redstone tutorial recreation I'm going to be doing a little tour of this redstone world I'm going to be walking around you know there's not going to be a real video that I'm going to upload because um I did kind of get this idea from like the Dan the Di from Dan TDM or the Diamond Minecart if you know him he did kind of a video like this where he did like a behind the scenes and how he edited his video and how he how he recorded it but it was an actual video that he posted it was like an actual mod review that he did a behind the scenes of and since I don't have any plan for a video for today I actually was this is the only video I was planning I was going to do, be doing a little test video and it's and the video is going to be going around my redstone world and and yeah, it, might, it may sound boring, but there's actually a, a pretty cool thing that I built. Let me just get a hot air so it's out of the shot, because you might have seen it. But anyways, um, yeah, there's something cool that I made on the Redstone World that I think you guys will really enjoy. And even though you're not going to see it, the actual thing, you're just going to see the behind the scenes and stuff and me cutting around. And yeah, so basically the, the main part of the video is probably like the editing part and how I edit my videos and stuff that's probably the main part of everything but there's just a little behind the scenes because I need to show everything for this let's play I mean for this um, special actually so yeah enough of me blabbing on again this is step two the recording part let's get straight to it all right what's wrong but you think once we're doing the little video of me showing around my redstone world 
So right now I am on my little redstone world. I have a little special thing behind me that I don't want to see because it's the most special part. And I'll save that the best for last. So I'll try my best not to show it. This is my redstone world and I am uh, using Rails action to record my videos. If you probably don't know that where well, you're kind of falling behind because I've probably mentioned that about a hundred times. These are Panasonic. Um, Panasonic RPHT360 headphones, stereo headphones. These are so big, these are amazing. They were only $30. So I have my blue Yeti right here with this pop filter. And that's also part of my setup. My computer, the basic specifications are eight gigs of bytes of RAM, um, AMD HD, uh, what, how, how are you say, HD Radeon, um, 8470 graphics card, Intel Core i5, you know, all that stuff. Pretty good computer. 23 inch monitor. It's running off um, VGA right now, yeah. So right now I'm going to be showing you guys around. We have this little trap thing that I made, which if you get, this is, and by the way, this is all made by me, and before I thought this was super advanced redstone, but now I know that this is pretty basic redstone. Put pressure lip plate here. Oh no, you fall. And this is a little piston door that I was working on. And here is the star of the show, the thing that I've been wanting to hide. This is a huge tree house I was working on. Alright guys, so welcome to step three of the just an area behind the scenes. Um this is basically um how I edit my videos as I am using um Sony Vegas Pro 12 right now and because I think it's it's a great editor and it's a really simple and easy and really efficient li linear video editor and it works perfectly and I can get the job done really really well. So right now I'm just going to be showing you how I edit my videos even though I, I don't really do some really heavy editing. In my videos, if you want to do some really heavy editing, then might as well use After Effects, but those are for, like, really actual effects. You, you would usually use that only to, like, add effects to a video, like, um, like, really cool effects. Um, um, if you wanted to make, like, an intro or something like that, you would use After Effects, but this is just, like, a, a linear video editor, so, and this is what I use. Usually, when I have a perfect video, like, usually, I don't really audio edit my videos, um, I don't audio edit the audio of my videos at, at all, basically. The only audio editing I do is in here, and I just amplify the volume, and that's it, basically what I do. So I'm just going to do that now because it looks pretty quiet. So let me just hear this, listen to this. All right, what is going on, everybody? Today I'm going to be that. Oh, no, you fall. I'm, I'm just going to boost this a little bit more. 2.1 that seems good and stuff and that's basically it because yeah that's perfect so that's the only audio editing i do so at the start but and then what i do to my videos is i right click on the video go to properties and disable resample because i most of the time always do this and you guys should do this if you're using sony vegas because um i don't exactly know what resample resample is but just i think it adds like a if you if you know what it is then great uh you, I don't I barely know what it is, but I know that it can cause some glitches with this. Um, and it's just better off just to do disable resample. And if you don't know what it is, I don't know. I think it has like a half frame to it. I actually don't know. Yeah, I actually don't know what it is, but I had some glitches before. Before, if I have a long video, um, I get like a black screen and at a part of it. you, um, And yeah, so what I, disable resample fixes that black screen glitch and... Yeah, and it can fix ghosting and stuff like that. So, just might as well disable resample. And then, so, let me see. What I do at the start Colors. is all I do um, is I look at the video. I, like, see if I need to make any changes. And I do notice, I did notice at the end, I do have to make a change here. So, then I just see this part where I look at the video camera because it actually stopped recording at this time. Not at this time, but it stopped recording. So then I'm like, oh no. And yes. So then I want to cut this part out. And let me see this. 
actual video. This is, and there's some parts, of course, at the start where, where I turn away and look at the camera. You probably saw that in, in step two when I was looking, when you were watching me record and I was facing the camera. In the recording, I look really dumb for the, from the face because I'm looking away, looking at something that you can't even see. But I, I don't have to cut the part out because, of course, this is just a test and I wouldn't usually do that in a normal video. Um, so I'm going to cut this part out right here. And so let me see if this is good. The whole video itself. There we go. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put it there. And what I do is I hit S on my keyboard to split the track. And then go to the next part where and yeah, where I want to keep the recording. Hit S. Delete this part. And put it together. And then it makes a little cut. It'll be the longest part of the whole video itself. And yeah. So that, there. Here we go. Thank you guys. And I took a loop. I took too much of a long time to say anything, so I'm just gonna also cut this part out. You know, just basic, basic cutting and trimming and stuff. That's what I. That's probably the hardest editing I do. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. And I made a, a. I sometimes I don't time my ending right, so that I have to like trim it off. But this is perfect. So what I do is highlight these three. And I add a little fade out at the end, make it one second. And what I like to do is if I have any cuts in my video, I want to keep them all one thing. Because if I move it, then it will separately, as you can see, if I move this, it will only move that. So I want to, I do control A on my keyboard and then I hit G on my keyboard. So that now, that means group. So it groups them all together. So now it's all one video, even, even though there's a cut, there are two cuts actually right here, one and two. So that's basically all I want to do. I think my video is perfect now. All I need to do is add my intro and outro. And so then, as, as you can tell, I do take really short to edit my videos, but I do, I think this is really efficient and yeah. If I do, and sometimes I do add titles and stuff. So I just do a new track by doing, by doing Control Shift Q, Media Generator's Legacy Text. All right, I'm gonna do that just as it's, you know, for the sake of the video. And then I just do control A delete. And then the font I like is of course Lazy, Lazy Sunday regular. It's my favorite font. And I do hello. And then effects. I'm gonna draw an outline, make it black. There we go. Looks nice and cool. And then of course through all, for all these, I just select everything. Add a little fade in. Uh, if I can do it right. There we go, so now it looks like this. Alright, what's going on? Be um, telling you and guys about moves away. If you want, I can also fade the title out. Like that, that's fine. And today I'm going to be... There you um, go, that's what I usually do with my titles. So, that's basically most of the editing I do. Now I'm going to hit Control A and Group and G again on my keyboard, so then I can group them. So this, this, now the title is is um grouped. And then now I'm going to go to the part where I actually add my intro. So I go to the Explore tab here. I go to YouTube Extras because this is where my intro is located. JTO Intro, that's what I called it. And I drag in my intro right there. And I just connect them all together. I have to add my fades again because there's a little glitch with it. So that it takes away the fades when you add in a new thing beside the video. There we go. And also, I, I add a fade to my intro. I should have done this at, on my actual intro, but I just add a fade like this. Perfect. Now, if we play it back, my intro. Right, what's going on, everybody? Pretty Today loud. We're doing the little. And then my thing here. But I think everything is good. Except it's Usually, if there are some mixed errors, of course, all I do is the same thing that I did here. I hit S. I go to here. S. 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 Delete that. But. Uh, I don't need to do that. That's just what I do. So now I'm done my intro. I'm done my trimming and stuff. I did the disable resample to make it all look nice and stuff. Now the final thing is to add my outro and this is probably the hardest editing I do. So the splitting is not the hardest. That's actually pretty simple. Um, I don't know why I said it's the hardest, but you know, uh, sometimes I see some weird things. So, you know, some, what I do is I add two new audio tracks and a new video track. And then I drag the video track at the bottom here because this is what I need to add, like the moving video in the background of my um, outro. You know that part where I have my outro and there's a moving video in, in the little square. So I just take my intro, my outro, where, if I can find it, where is it? 
Hmm. I think it's new outro. Yeah, there's new outro thumbnail. New outro.png. Here it is. There we go. And then, yeah, it's, that's my outro. Then, as you can see, it's really bland. No music. And it's not even the right timing. That's it. No video. So, I need to spice this up a bit. What I do is the reason I had um, two audio tracks is because when I add in the video, it'll have audio under it by default. So, then I'll. That, that's why I have a video and then an audio on top. That's the default layout for dragging a new video. The video on top and the audio on the bottom. As you can see here, video on top, then audio on the bottom. So that's why I did that. Then I go to a random video or maybe the previous video. For this one, I'm just going to do any random video. Let's do episode 6 of my, thumb, of my Let's Play, shall we? And of course, I don't do from start because that's pretty boring. And this is going to glitch out on me. I'm just going to split it here, delete that, drag that there. And then, actually, no, before I, I put in my thi my video, I actually put in my music first. Got I go to YouTube songs, outro music right there, and then I split that, delete. And then I extend my outro to make it its full length. I also add a little fade out to everything, but I'll do that all later. So that's why the reason I had two audio tracks, I can delete this audio track now. And as you can see, this is what my outro looks like so f right now. But as you can tell, it's not, the video is, the it's full size. It's not like, you know, resized down. Now how I do that is I go to my, the video that is playing in the background. I go to this little pan crop event, event pan crop thingy right there in the bottom right corner. And then I drag this out to make it smaller, put that in the corner, make it even smaller, try to fit it as best as I can. It's not It's not gonna be perfect and it doesn't have to be perfect, just the best you can would be nice. That looks pretty okay. So now what I do is I add a fade out. Do one, I do like, 27 milliseconds. I don't know why. I just I think it looks the best, and only for the outro and the thingy. So what I would usually do now is I would hit, hit Control S to save it so that I don't lose my data if it crashes or anything. I'm just gonna call this test video. No, I'll call it tutorial video. So I know that this is not a real video. Hit save, and then control S would always save it now to, to, to tutorial video. So now I'm basically almost done. I'm just going to do some like finishing touches. And I'll see you in the next video. That's the conclusion. Peace. My outro. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm done. So right now I'm just going to double check everything by just re-watching the video. Not fully, of course, that would take forever. Just like going through everything. Intro. Title. Oh, right. Here's the redstone here. Cutting. Action gonna select everything because it was only selecting a little bit and yeah so thank you guys Cutting. for watching this and then outro make sure it's all good and there i'm done so right that's basically i'm just gonna save it there and that's basically how i edit my videos guys um and this 200 subscriber special is almost done i'm this is step three out of step four how i edit my videos i hope you guys could like two things i hope you guys could see how I, how I edit my videos and had a little bit of pointers if you don't know how to use Sony Vegas Pro 12 or 11 because 12 and 11 are really similar. So, all right, guys, so that was step three of how I edit my videos. And the next thing I do is I'm going to render this, but I'm going to render it off camera. Um, I just click the render as at the top. I name this. And usually if I if this is part of a Let's Play, all I have to do is change, like, the, the number. I just click on, I just go to Browse, click the video, change the number to like 18 or the next or like the next video 18 then i change the little message and then that's what i do but i'm gonna i'm just gonna leave this as tutorial video and to make it look fancy i'm just gonna do capital starts to make it look professional and exclamation mark and then jto films i don't even know perfect See, that looks like kind of a video. I have dashes, exclamation mark, capitals. That's usually what what my YouTube videos look like, I guess, because I always have, like, dashes or hyphens, however you say it, colons, 
um, and then capitals and stuff like that, because I like having proper titles, I don't know why. And the output format, I have it as HD 720p and then 30 frames per second or 30p video. And I put that as my favorite, so I'm just going to show favorites only. So then these are the three main things that I will use probably. I'll probably be using more, but this is just I added to my favorites. And then what I do, make sure it saves, excuse me, make sure it saves to finish YouTube videos. Title right, this right, and then sometimes I always forget to do the disable resample. So I have to exit out of this, re disable resample, then re-render and retype everything. But yeah, that's basically it. And all I do is hit render. And then I'm going to wait till it renders. And that's basically it, guys. So thank you guys for watching this step three. Hope you guys could see how I edit my videos. And now on to step four. All right, guys. Welcome to step four of the Justin Dioria behind scenes. This is the final, last and final step. But certainly not least because, you know, this is I'm actually uploading this to YouTube right now. So right now, as you saw in the first step, I thought the idea of what I was going to record, which ended up being something different. So, yeah, that's sometimes also part of the step. I what I planned doing one video, but then I change and then I do the other one. And then step two, I actually did record it. You saw me recording it and had my all, I had all, all my equipment ready and stuff. Um, and then step three, I edited all of my stuff together to make it look perfect and sound perfect. and Well, not perfect, but sound good at least. And the video is... Here somewhere. Um, there it is. Tutorial video JTO films. Now what I do is I of course open up my Google Chrome. Yeah, it's a bit slow because I just booted up my computer. Uh, yeah, and then yeah sorry for this slow thingy it's just a bit slow now but it'll, it'll get better soon i go to youtube buy my little bookmark and then i go to the upload up here you probably know how to upload a video this is just how i do it and also by the way before i show you what i have i have this little thing where if i go into youtube settings uh view additional features and defaults this like i have already my description all set up ready here like with all my info and this is what will be in my um, video, every single video. I don't have to type all of this in, so it's default there when I hit upload. And then I just do my custom message there. Type, and then that's the, basically the only default I have. I hit, I hit save. And then I can go to upload. So then that's why I already have my description, my long description there all the time. I just open up the little thingy. I drag it in here and then until it's green. And then I, sometimes it's weird, the dashes and the slashes and the pr brackets don't show up when you're doing it. So I have to like manu manually put them back in. So, and then I do my little um, description here. What I do is I do, here I go, welcome to my 200 sub special tutorial video. In this video, I showcase my awesome um oops yet um still developing i guess you could say redstone world now this is what i do basically and then whenever there's some er errors i just right click and of course it doesn't know what redstone is <laughs> there we go and i spelled redstone wrong anyways Sheesh. Redstone world. And then I'll do an exclamation mark. And then I'll just um, cut until I'm done doing the whole um, description. Now, also, another part of this video that usually I always forget to add this, but uh, of course, what is part of this is in step four. I usually always, whenever I'm recording, do a quick thumbnail right here. So I, I open up paint.net and, and I go to image canvas size 1280 by 720. Can I control S? Nope, sorry. Control A and then hit delete on my keyboard to make it transparent. And then I find a good background image where I don't really have one. So I, just, I, I like to go on Minecraft, do a screenshot and, and stuff. But that might take a bit long. So I'm, I'm going to see if I have any screenshots saved. That's good. And this is perfect screenshot right here. This is also part of my resume world. Just hit uh, copy that. And then I go into thing to my paint.net control V. Keep canvas size. I'll just do that for now. 
Uh, sorry for this. If you can hear any background noise, um, uh, let me see. I go to no, I don't. I go to artistic oil painting. Put bump up the br brush size and the coarseness. Hit OK. Deselect effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. I bring that up a bit to about twelve. 10 or 15 is pretty good. Um, maybe even lower than 10 will be good. And then, so then it makes it blurry so that I can, the text will look like better. And then I go to my computer. I go to my pictures. And then I had this little Minecraft logo. That I like having except that thing there. Oh, well. Copy that. Keep canvas size. I bring the scale down a bit. Okay like around there and then okay what I, maybe i like to have it maybe around here and then uh, to make it i like making it white so i'll just do that hold control to keep on selecting the other ones and blah 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 and then perfect now i do effects photo glow and then i bump up the radius bump up the brightness bring down the contrast hit x and then i do effects uh object drop oops x object drops shadow let's bring up the widening radius then the blur actually first let's just oh never mind blur there we go and then I'm gonna get my eraser to erase this little thing because there's a little dot thing here that I don't want to have. Perfect. Which that looks actually pretty weird. Oh, I'll use my rectangle select tool to get rid of this. Um, that looks okay for now. There we go. They probably won't notice it. <laughs> they probably will, but it doesn't matter. I'll just let go of that. That looks okay. And then then I add my favorite font, which is Lazy Sunday Regular. Let me see what this is. Yeah. Um, 27. And then, yeah. Also, what I like to add is I, can tr I copy this, put it in my custom message, so then they can see the message while I'm posting it. And then I do image canvas. Uh, no. What am I doing? Let's go to font let's go down to lazy sunday and then i'll do a, a cool red i'll make it bold i call it red stone world uh, and then i'll have tor on the bottom in another color and font and stuff so it'll look pretty nice oh, oh what i haven't tried out yet is having a gradient so let me just make this a bit bigger, 144. Maybe just bring it to 130. That looks perfect. And then I'm gonna highlight highlight all of it. Just bring it up a bit more to me, to highlight everything. I think, I think 69 is the best. Yeah. And then I go to the gradient, and then I ch pick my color, the red, and then, oh, sorry. Nice, lighter red color. And then I can do that, redstone world. You see that, see that looks pretty good. And then I'll do effects, object, drop, shadow. Let's make it a red. Bring bump down the blur radius. And bump down the writing radius to have like a cool outline. And then now I do effects, object, drop, shadow, black, bump up the radius, and boom! I have a cool text effect that looks pretty sweet. And then I'll have a big tour down the bottom also. In blue. Bring it up to that T O U R. No, that looks really stupid. <laughs> Rest in world. Tor. 
blue that look good? Looks okay. <laughs> and then there we go. And then I kind of want to do these same effects. 69, perfect. And then go back to the gradient. There we go, and then this may take a while, so I'm probably gonna, gonna speed this up or something. Oops. Oh no! Uh, this is a common mistake I always do. I always, always, always forget to put that in a new layer. And then I'll just add a new layer. There we go. And then I'll do this now. So. Yeah, I'm going to do this in blue. Whenever you had new text or something that's new, you always, always, always have to add a new layer to make it good or to make it, like, work better. Because if you don't, then it can mess up the things under it. Don't put everything in one layer. As you can see, I have four items. I have a background, a Minecraft title, Wrestling World, and Tour. So I have four layers. So one layer for one type of thing. It's not one layer for, like, one letter. It's one layer per one little text box or one picture to make it easier to work with. So now I'm going to add a little object drop shadow. Let's add an actual shadow now. It, look, it looks pretty good. Redstone World Tour. As you can see, it, it looks pretty cool. This this is a kind of um, thumbnail that is appealing to the eye. People will click on it. All I do is save this as. Um, let me see. A, I always do PNG. I'm just going to do red or world tour redstone red whatever there we go redstone world tour redstone hit save hit okay make sure that's a uh, not not over two megabytes and flatten perfect and then i just exit out of that and then go here custom thumbnail and i go to wherever it is i think it's on it's at the bottom because it's on under w Oh, there it is, there it is, right there. Redstone World Tour. And I hit open. And then I wait for this. And then there, it pops up and all his cha save changes. And that's basically it, guys. So, thank you guys for watching this really, really long and oh, long overdue. Um, part 3 of my 200 subscribers special. Let me just fix up my webcam a bit. And then... I know this, I haven't uploaded a video in a while, I'm sorry for that, but, you know, I've been working on this video for so long already, and I didn't have any time to do anything else. So this is basically how I upload my videos, guys. I hope you guys got some tips, or just had a fun time watching me, how I, how I do my videos. And if there are anything, if you have any questions or anything, leave that in the comments, because I actually have time to read the comments, unlike some other people where they say leave it in the comments, but they don't actually read it after a period of time. So, yeah, but I, since I have a kind of a smaller audience, I can read your guys' comments. So, if you if you think I missed something, something that I, I could have shown, leave in the comments. And then, yeah, maybe I can add or maybe if I can do something for that. So, thank you guys for watching this behind-the-scenes video. Again, I thank you so much for 200 subscribers. It's just amazing. Um, of You guys are amazing. Uh, this is why I do my videos. This is how long I take to do these videos. It's been so it's been uh, like four days working on this thing um so thank you guys for watching this i thank you so much again and yeah you guys are amazing and i'll see you in the next video peace out